So someone asked me how can we use behavior science principles on an app? So today we are going to talk about using scarcity, authority, reciprocity and all these behavior, interesting behavior science principles in context of app. Scarcity, first principle. And in fact, this example you must have seen many e-commerce brand already using. I often see it getting used by Ajio. Running a flash sales. Ajio is running a lot of flash sales on their home page where um, they are running limited time flash sale events where certain products are available at a significant discount just for shop short period where they also show a timer that the time is running out so users are motivated to check the app frequently and make quick purchasing decisions to take advantage of this limited time offer so yes that's one way through which you can also do it on your app whether you are uh, having an app for e-commerce or, or a fashion brand or whatever it is, you can effectively use this uh, tactic to sell. You can also use it like uh, Zepto also uses it. So you can use this kind of uh, sales on your app. Authority. So let's, let's think that you are a health and fitness app. Uh, the app could partner with well-known fitness influencer, someone who already has a lot of engagement and followership, say on a platform like Instagram, tie up with them, ask them to post content on their Instagram handle, list it on your fitness app as well. And uh, yeah, uh, users are more likely to trust the app that advises and guidance, provides guidance because it's backed by authoritative figure who they already follow off your platform, right? Another way one is storytelling. Say you are a meditation and mindfulness app. The app could include personal stories and testimonials from users who have experienced reduced stress or improved, or your app has improved well-being for them. In such cases, um, you can use stories of these customers. These stories make uh, the benefit of the app more relatable instead of you sounding salesy your customer come and sell your story in a very non-salesy way third one mm, no not sorry fourth one is loss aversion say you have a task management app the app could incorporate a feature where users set daily or weekly goals and if they don't complete them they lose virtual points or rewards so users will be more motivated to complete tasks to avoid the perceived loss of points uh, increasing productivity right and hence they would come back to your app to use more and more features priming um, this one actually i did not cover in my last video do check out my last video where i cover about nine behavior science principles but i wanted to cover priming this time say you have a social media app the app can use color schemes and content layout that evoke positive emotions, setting a primed mood for users as they scroll through their feeds. Um, users may uh, associate the app with positive feelings, making them more likely to engage with and uh, share content, right? So these are some ways that I think you can use this in your app strategy. If you have some more use cases, do comment and let me know how you are using behavior science principles on your app. See you in the next video and do check out the previous video where I cover 9 principles of behavior science all with examples.